On May 11th, 2024, Kansas City's third annual Compost Fest was hosted on the Common Ground Farm Site by KC Farm School. Compost Fest is organized and sponsored by Missouri Organic Recycling, the area's largest compost and mulch company. Compost Fest is unique in that it brings together the entire organic recycling community to celebrate the wonderful waste reduction and soil fertility benefits of compost. But Compost Fest is first and foremost an educational festival. Participants can experience expert demonstrations from the most basic concepts to advanced methods like using black soldier flies and biochar production. Here is the story of Compost Fest 3. I'm Lydia and I am the farm director here at Casey Farm School. Uh, and this 11 and a half acres is my kind of um, charge to help lead the energy and all of the help that we have here. Uh, and we started dreaming about Compost Fest over a year ago. Uh, it's the third annual and the second one here. So Stan with Missouri Organic and Katie and then Alicia here and then all of the compost companies in Kansas City have been working to create this amazing event where people can come and have fun but also be educated um, about what's going on. Hi there, my name is Kevin Anderson. Uh, I'm one of the owners of Missouri Organic Recycling, um, the organizer of Compost Fest here at the Gibbs Road Farm. So, uh, and thanks for KC Farm School for hosting us. Um, definitely trying to promote the use of compost and, you know, the awareness of taking waste streams and creating products out of them. So, we uh, we compost about 20,000 tons of food waste a year. We make about 75,000 yards of compost a year. And we definitely are trying to promote compost and compost use. This is International Compost Awareness Week, so we're trying to promote and get awareness to compost and compost production and, and using compost at home. So we definitely appreciate everything that's going on here and all the partners that we have here today promoting compost. So definitely check us out. And if you, have, if you weren't able to make it this year, make sure you make it next year. Thank you. My name is Sarah Mayerhofer. I work for Missouri Organic Recycling. Um, and I'm supporting Compost Fest because it's a great opportunity to have a bunch of different people in the Kansas City area that are composting in a bunch of different ways come together and share their intelligence about compost, biochar, all the different agricultural um, systems and programs um, come together and teach the general public about composting. And it's something that we can do as individuals um, to combat climate change. So I think it's super important that we all learn about composting and how we can all do it differently. Hi, I'm Alicia Ellingsworth, Executive Director of Casey Farm School. I love Compost Fest because it's a day where everybody comes out, everyone sees what's possible, everyone sees what happens when we believe in the possibilities of working together and creating tomorrow better than today. The heart of Compost Fest is the building of the large pile of compost. Due to the rainy spring weather in the days before the festival, Missouri Organic was unable to deliver a large load of ground leaves to become the basis for a new pile. The pile from last year needed turning and there were some unfinished pieces of compost in it. So the decision was made to give last year's pile a fresh set of materials, including two large dumps of food waste and a truckload of beer dregs. The beer and the food help the composting organisms finish any undigested material in the pile and improve the uniformity and fertility of the compost. These 40 yards of high quality compost will now become the basis for a large area of raised beds on common ground. So feel the heat is a demonstration I devised because people really don't know what makes compost hot and how compost works. So how, feeling the heat, a raging bacterial colony. colony, why it's hot, how they eat, what's needed, and what's left over. So this is the demonstration compost pile with tubes inside that you can stick your hand in and feel the heat and the humidity inside. It's running at 120 today. It's layers of food waste and leaves. Hey, 
Hey, Eric Kempo with Cultivate KC. Uh, we're a nonprofit that supports uh, urban farmers in the KC Metro. Um, we uh, provide bulk orders and access to funding. Uh, we also provide um, farm training at our Juniper Gardens training farm in KCK. Uh, mostly former refugees, they do a four-year training program and learn how to grow in the, the Kansas City environment, and then we help them grow their businesses after they leave the, the program. Um, we also do food access, um, double up food bucks program at farmers markets so folks can take advantage of fresh produce uh, in the KC community. Um, yeah, and then we also do events and volunteer activities uh, throughout the metro at various farms. So uh, we're here supporting Compost Fest because uh, healthy soil is an intricate part of um, having a healthy farm and, and growing healthy foods. So I'm um, always happy to support um, you know, the, the Casey Farm School and, and also Missouri Organic in this, uh, this initiative. Missouri Organic wishes to thank the following informative groups who supported the festival. Karen Ramsey explained how KC Can Compost collects food scraps from events, businesses, and homes metro-wide. The second half of their mission is green job training. The Green Corps workers get training to develop skills and on-the-job experience. Farmer Mickey Gallagher represented Compost Collective KC. The food waste that Compost Collective gathers helps make finished compost for herbivore farm. David Haken represented the Pachamama Alliance and Carbon Footprint Eating, as well as playing a great set of eco songs for us all. Brent Ragsdale manned the biochar kiln to teach us a special way to burn wood that creates a valuable charcoal soil amendment. Longtime activist Marty Kraft and his helpers built another Johnson Sioux bioreactor on the farm. Just using moistened leaves and a year's worth of airborne fungal spores, the leaves are completely transformed into a valuable soil inoculant. Catherine Kelly brought her hungry goats out to diminish the invasive honeysuckle on the property. This was Catherine's second year to participate and help to reclaim a piece of the property from invasive plants. Nova Clark of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in Lacine, Kansas, came to inform us of the great resource their refuge is for the whole region. I helped make my tree strong, but now it's time to move on. I'll be back in the green before long when I'm doing the compost dance. Put me in the compost pile. In the compost pile Help me go From all used up to new Why don't you put me in the compost I useless energy I love stuff Useless water Yes, it's so tough I walk or bike instead of playing Taking the car. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Sing along. I reduce. I reuse. I recycle. With all 